What is it like touching a wild Mustang for the first time? Usually it shatters your expectations, but let me share my experiences with you. I'll be sharing the stories of six different Mustangs that I've had the privilege to work with. First up was Sweet Liberty, or Libby, my very first Mustang. Now Libby was very bold and very easy to touch. She was pretty fearless. I suspect this could be because she was born into holding on July 4th, 2019, hence the name Sweet Liberty. This means that her mother was pregnant with her when she was rounded up from Green Mountain, Wyoming. Poor little Libby had spent her whole life in the BLM holding facilities. When she came, she didn't even know what grass was. When I first started scratching her shoulder, I felt her tense up and then relax into the scratch as she realized how good it felt. It was definitely the scratches that won her over as she realized the convenience of a human scratching tool. All of this happened on my first day of working with her. I couldn't believe how quickly she let me touch all over her body. Libby's confidence also helped me to get my first touch with Freedom, also known as Frida, a yearling from the Swazi HMA in Utah. Frida was shy at first and often stood behind Libby as I interacted with them. She started by stealing the hay that I gave Libby, but then eventually did come forward to take her own hay from my hand. She spent a lot of time studying me from a distance while I scratched Libby. While I did lightly and briefly touch her while feeding her, some of my first real touches were from her touching me. I thought this was a hilariously cute way to get some first touches. Frida thought I smelled pretty interesting too. Frida would eventually play a role in helping another Mustang to gain confidence. I hadn't been able to get anywhere close to Sparrow, a three-year-old from Devil's Garden, so I brought Frida over to help. At this point, Frida was no longer a shy little horse, but was now a confident and curious two-year-old. Having Frida around gave Sparrow a little bit more confidence, and slowly her personal space bubble got smaller and smaller. Frida had no trouble demonstrating how to come up to me and take a treat, and eventually Sparrow came forward too. It took a couple weeks to get my first touch with Sparrow, and it happened when she finally took some alfalfa from my hand. Next up was Merlin, a four-year-old also from Devil's Garden. I was able to get my first touch with Merlin right away. He proved to be an extremely food-motivated horse and would overcome his fears and do almost anything if it meant getting alfalfa. We started doing positive reinforcement almost right away. He learned how to target the bridge of his nose, his jaw, his forehead, and ears. Next was Jaeger, which yes, I know, is commonly pronounced Jaeger. Jaeger was pretty bold coming off the trailer and was obviously in charge. Are you the boss? Are you a boss, ma'am? Similar to Merlin, I got my first touch with him within 30 minutes of him coming off the trailer. Hi, sir. Once he checked me out, he kept his distance over the next two weeks. Up next was Raven, a four-year-old from Go Shoot, Nevada. I started by just sitting outside her pen with some alfalfa, and gradually she approached me. It was probably about 10 hours after her arrival that we made the first contact, although I don't think she was intending to do that. A couple days later, and she was definitively eating out of my hand. All of the Mustangs you've seen here have their own unique playlist. Of all my first touches, I would have to say Frida's was probably my favorite, as it was so cute and unique. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Thanks for watching!